the Christ spirit that lives within us that must become one with our soul our you know basically we have a character identity that's been manifested in duality um, we came like a perfect spirit you know but when we interacted with the duality that was basically an imbalance of perfection um, to interact with this reality we created a character the character is a construct the character really doesn't exist the name the identity it's like the same as like in a video game uh, if you ever play video games when you select a character and you create it you know um, we do we, we you know kind of fo whatever we focus on becomes our attributes you know whatever we you know whatever you know we align with you know again duality good or bad you know so you're gonna be a good character a bad character um because in perfection there's only truth and in god there's only oneness so there is no division you know in oneness there cannot be hate or war or um, any form of negativity that that is known you know in the way we explain it is things of being negative the negative is really just an imbalance of the oneness and even a, uh, there's a positive polarity that isn't true zero point love. Zero point love is is the true love. But there's a like if you could look at it like on a scale, you know, negative one, two, three, four, five, all the way down to ten, and then you do you know plus one all the way up to plus ten. And plus ten you could say are your you know positive external emo based emotions. So like if somebody gives you something you know, external, and you believe, you know, now you've had something added to you that really, in essence, nothing can be added to you because you're, you're fully, you know, um, your essence is the God self, you know, and, and, and the God self needs nothing, nothing, nothing at all. You know, it's the external world, the, the, uh, the association with the body, you know, you are not the body, you operate in a body, you know, just like when you drive a car, you're not a car, but you operate in a car. It's the exact same principle. You know, we, come to believe we are cars in a sense we've come to believe we are bodies you know it's that same um ignorance level of ignorance we just don't see it like that you know um so disassociating from the body is a very key thing because you you know we're so hardwired into our emotions you know christ you know you know when christ dwells in the throne of the mind he's lord of the emotions energy and motion you know, they, your, your body houses these emotions. These emotions run like um, patterns throughout your body. You know? So you wake up and you think every day is new. But really, unless you're consciously um, ascending in a renewed mind, and then basically the point of ascension is to hit an equilibrium, a zero point, where basically you completely dissolve the character that you constructed coming into this reality and you return to the perfect self that was before you entered this reality um yeah so that's in in everything that you do has to be rooted in love because love is oneness you know love is synonymous for being one with god you know if you have love in your in your you know they say your temple you know, a temple is is a holy a holy building right so your body before the temple could be looked at as a market you know because we trade energies in this world for you know we, we trade our own energy in this world for external pleasures you know and you know, so we turn our our temple into a, a den of uh, thieves and robbers and we you know and we're a marketplace of thieves or I, I guess I'll be butchering for that you know what a the verse that Christ talks about you know, if your body's a temple, you know, and Christ gets the whip and he whips out the, you know, the spirits of uh, lower, you know, the, the lower energies within the body. You know, that's the Christ um, spirit, the consciousness of the God self, the Christ, the Atman, as it's known. The Atman is the eternal, perfect self. That's even, um, it's the deepest part of your essence. Uh, you know, you have, uh, you know. In a, a sphere of a, 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 a let's see like if you had like layers like an onion you had like the mental sphere and you know you had an emotional sphere you have an astral sphere um, a celestial sphere there's just different layers to the body but when you get to the core essence it's just the god self it's the spark of, of of just unconditional love and light and that's your true true core essence 
And so returning to that core essence, you know, they talk in the Bible of being um, of salvation. And salvation is the only way you can't, you know, because we really judge ourselves. You know, we judge ourselves against perfection. And the perfection is our own inner perfection, you know. So if you don't align with the inner perfection, um, and again, it's not like, I'm, you know, you can't will it of the flesh. You can't say, oh, I'm going to be perfect today, you know, because we have emotions. It's really, it's an identity thing. It's switching your identity from a temporal worldly character that will suffer and is under the judgment of the true God self because it is not in alignment with the God self. But once you align with the God self, you are no longer in judgment because you are one with the love and you are one with God. And how can God judge himself? It's only in separation where there creates duality and we feel judgment and things of that nature. Everything will that is destined to return back to uh, the oneness, to the love will return because it's in its nature. It's, a, it's an inner will. It's not a mental will, but it's a, it's a will of the spirit. And the will of the spirit moves on its own accord. So sometimes, you know, the mind could be going in a whole different direction, but the spirit has its own plan. You know, the spirit's like the wind, it says. The, the, the spirit, no one, no one knows where it goes. You can't predict it, you know. It's not computerized. It's not like the left brain where everything's based on, you know, calculations and patterns and, you know, um, just looking at everything through a logic and mathematical way. You know, the spirit moves um, and just love, you know, and love is not bound by anything. It's boundless. You know, so love can't be can't be um, controlled. Love can't be restricted. Love is unconditional in essence, true love, agape love. So love will not have boundaries. So even the worst person in the world, love cannot hate. If you understand that, you know, if you can comprehend that, you can comprehend the heart of God. Because um, God is unconditional love. And really the people, what they do is what um, you can't, the closer you get to God, you come into oneness. So the beings that are, you would call, you know, in this world evil, are really just far, far away from God in essence. You know, they've isolated God within their thinking and then within their consciousness and created a character so far from God that it's just, it's, it's it becomes an, the exact opposite of what the true nature of God is. Um, yeah, you know, so that's all it is. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's just coming into alignment. So it's not trying to change one little piece of yourself, you know, oh, I'm going to quit doing that or I'm going to quit doing this. It's really just realigning with a whole shift of consciousness into a consciousness of love.